Check that the unit is properly marked with an expiration date two years from the month of installation on board. Please note that the unit has to be correctly marked to be approved by the authorities. Attach the Hamar H20 with a shackle to a strong point on the deck or on the cradle. Attach the life raft lashing with a slip hook or similar to the upper yellow thimble and firmly secure the life raft. Fit a shackle to the red weak link connector and connect the painter line to the shackle. The Hamar H20 is now correctly installed and will be in service for two years. Hamar H20 is a hydrostatic release unit that activates on water pressure. The water pressure acts on a membrane that activates a spring-loaded knife. When the release unit is exposed to water pressure at a depth of 1.5 to 4 meters, the knife is activated and cuts the white strong rope. The white rope is part of the life raft lashing and will now allow the life raft to float free. What's going on? Can you reply? Um, uh, the White Hamar H20 strong rope is secured to the deck or cradle and attached to the life raft lashing with a manual release hook. The life raft painter line is shackled to the red weak link connector. When the ship sinks, the water pressure within four meters will activate the sharp knife, which cuts the strong rope and the life raft will float free. As the ship sinks, the life raft painter line will be stretched and the life raft will start to inflate. The increased buoyancy of the inflated life raft will cause the red weak link to break and the life raft will surface. Survivors can now board the inflated life raft 